Yep. Hold on, thank you. Appreciate Some it. other religions and we'll have oh, prescriptions no. based on the time. So, Judaism uh, religion would have had a certain. Um, I think for the top of that time. Yeah. They would have had a. Uh, well, you have to find the same That's where the differences lie, the rules. But if you look at the message essentially from each religion, it's always been the same one God, one creator. One right. above us. So all one the gods are saying this, yes? Yeah, 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 yeah. For example, the Sikh as if has a book. Yeah. Does Sikh has have a book? Similar yeah. to Quran. Yeah. Similar more or less, yes? Yeah, it's a book. It's a book with knowledge. Okay. Who is book is this? What do you mean? This they would say is the word of Allah. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Allah, yeah. Allah, not God. God is for Christians. No, Don't no. forget that. Allah no. means God in Aramaic. No, don't go to the semantics. No, no, I'm just saying it. It, it says it's Allah here. That's all I know because God. the book says Allah and that's it. Okay. God is for Christians. Lord, God, all that. You see, you've seen it on the film, on the books, everything. But never in the film they would call Allah God. Like I said, Aramaic. Or anyway, yeah, all right. So they Allah would claim Allah. this is the word of Allah. Yeah. What about you? What does Sikh, okay, Sikhism so, claim? Sikh, uh, Sikhs believe that the Holy Book is the word of God. The God. Your God is similar to Allah or I know, but just say yes or no. So how would you know it's from Allah or, or, or the God that you know it is? How would you know that? That it's from God. Yes. Or from how, Allah. Yes, how would you know? Well, it depends on your perspective. Because no, your pe oh, don't yeah. go. No, no, your. because if I tell you, you're gonna. Yeah. Know, how do you know this? And yes, like, that's that's. Okay. Well, so remember, yeah, no, you no, were. It doesn't mean you're wrong. No, no, no. You're no. not a walking example. It will give me some sort of. So yes. For me, the reason I understand that is the truth. No. How do you know your book? It's the word of from God, your from God. God. Yes, yeah. the God that you Through say guiding you. Sorry. Through my personal experience. And what experience? No, is that? the word is from the God. Yeah. How do you know? Because how do you know it's not from alien? How do you know it's not from... from no, sir, you're not my understanding. My personal experience in spirituality yeah. and my meditation right. and all my life. Okay, so how do you know it's not from the alien? Because aliens didn't bring... How do you know? How? How do you know? You see this? Because an alien... You understand, alien sir. Alien is essentially a creation inside the creation. Okay. Yes. Created by who? By God? Yes. Okay, God... Ha how do you know that... Alien was created by God. How do you know these no, things? No, I don't. You you're make it claims. You're the one who mentioned aliens. I said if it, no, if I said exist. Okay, then there would be a creation. It's have you? Creation. Okay, so have you? Couldn't be our creators. That's correct. Have you rolled out? Sorry? Have you rolled it out? Have you found out that there is no alien? No, I, like I said, from my personal experience, from meditation and understanding. I know what I'm saying. How do you know it's from alien? Uh, sorry, from God. How do you know it's not from them? From another source. Okay, from another source. I'm saying yes, your experience. How do you know it's not from another oh, source? Say, how do I know my experience isn't from an alien? From yes, not. not you understand? Okay. Can you can you prove that aliens are able to manipulate? It's you, not me. You're making the claim. No, no. But you're claiming. No, I'm saying, is it possible? Is it possible? Do okay. you understand yeah, possibility? The reason it's not possible is because there's only one creator. But if aliens existed, if aliens existed and they decided that they wanted to manipulate me into believing what they wanted me to believe, yes. they would probably make me want to believe that they are the gods. But, but they've done it. How, they've done it. You believe in it. Yes. That's what you only give in the name as God. One God, yes. one creator. I know what I'm saying. I'm saying a million different creators. No, I know. So the one that you've invented for yourself as a god, yes, that's what you have invented. I haven't invented because of your perception. We discovered. We discovered. Okay. So you have, yes. Personally, my personal exactly. But how do we know it's not alien? It's not another source. Well, what you would consider aliens are considered angels. All right, angels. Okay. So how do you know it's it's a it's not a bad angel? Because I've created, I've connected with the supreme being, the supreme creator. Right. See, it's difficult, and that's isn't it? My so it comes to this that you have invented something which pleases you. No. you yes, it's correct. What? Yes. It doesn't. Take the mask off. Oh, wait, don't worry wait. about it. It's fine. Who got yes. masks on? Yeah. No. Listen, no. listen. No, so it comes to this. Yes. You found something which is satisfying your needs 
Am I right? Uh, God satisfies me in many ways, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But when it comes to challenging, you see you struggle. What do you mean? I said, how do you know that book which you read and you get your spiritual satisfaction, it's not from an alien? Okay. Is this in English or is this in... In English, yeah. Perfect. So I'm just going to open it up randomly. Yeah, I open it up. I don't read any one particular book. Okay. Let's see. Read anything you like. Then the end of those who did evil was the worst. Yeah. Because they denied the signs of Allah and used to ridicule them. Okay. So I can open up any book yeah. and there's always wisdom in what I'm reading. All right. Thank so you. So for me, there's no alien that's made me open it. Hold this page. one second, please. I tip. If you find that particular passage, it's just me opening it up to a random passage and trying to get the wisdom I can from it. And apply it to my life and try and be a better right. person. Open this and read exactly what you did. What? Read that? No, exactly what you did. Read something read and randomly, you said. Right, so we'll go ahead. Rahman adds that since Islam, there have been other claims to prophecy, but no successful claimants. That's Thank you. That's enough. Okay. So, this, you said it was whom? Urda God, yes? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. And this? Uh, Mona. Mona. City, city I don't know how to Do you course. understand? Mona exists. We can go and challenge. No, 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 no. But listen. The, but, but the difference listen. is, yes. the wisdom that I was, I yes. was getting from that one yes. passage I read to you, yes. compared to this, this doesn't add any wisdom to me. This is just basically no, a claim. Okay. It's okay. Commentary. But yes, how claim. do you know? That's what I'm saying. How do you know it's from a God? He had an experience. Okay. Now, what did that experience? Was that a supernatural experience? Or was that a psychological experience? Oh, that's a very good question. Give me a bit of both. See how to articulate You're picking up from the big nose. Speak, up. And he's your teacher. Yes. <laughs> no, through oh, YouTube God, he watches, God, I think, God. a lot of... So, the so question is... You don't know. Can you distinguish it from a supernatural experience? Yes. Or was it a psychological experience? That's it. Okay, so... And it's okay to say, I don't know. No, he will say that. At least he is... He has the humility. So, I understand where you're coming from. So, some of the experiences I've had have been supernatural. How do we know that? Please give us some examples. Oh, you see, you're picking up now everything. You want to know about my personal experience? Yeah. Yes, that's how we how we no, no, be able to make assessment. You want? I'm happy to tell you, but yeah. you've got to understand that it's we my can't personal judge experience. Yeah, we can't and judge it. It's your feeling, your... You know. Yeah, so, you know. I went to a Reiki healer. A what? A Reiki healer. Okay, uh, yeah. some uh, sort of guru. Healer. It's the... Um, it's Japanese uh, yes. healing energy kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. okay. oh. It's about uh, aligning your chakras and stuff. Yes, and yes. I thought that would be interesting. I thought I want to understand that a bit more. I went in as a skeptic. I didn't believe it 100%. I thought, let's just give it a go and see what happens. Yes. As I'm sitting there doing what I'm doing, uh, she waves her hands over my face. Yeah. And my eyes are closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But while yeah. my eyes are closed, the most brightest, blindingest light starts making my eyes open. I quickly open them, and there's no light. So that light could have been something in my head, or it could have been something supernatural. supernatural. Now, I'll give you a nice little additive to that. Right. I have a condition called aphantasia. Just what aphantasia means is that my mind's eye is blind. Right. I can't see any pictures in my head. So when I is that a diagnosis made yeah, yeah, yeah. By, the, by the doctors? Uh, no, I haven't been signed off by a doctor, but it's... But how would you know about this? Because when I close my eyes and I try and picture a pink elephant, I see nothing but black, and that is the definition of affirmation. So is that in the dictionary? Yeah, so I, um, when I dream, dreaming is different to... Uh, when you're consciously... Consciously you. trying to create an image. So when I'm consciously trying to create an image, I cannot. All I see is black. So in that experience, I was able to discern that I wasn't sure if it was really real or not, the Reiki thing. I was able to discern that that light I saw wasn't something that my mind made up in an image because I can't do that. Okay. It must have been something supernatural. Okay. So that's one experience. Did it fix you? Did it fix your problem? Uh, well, I had no problem. I was just going there. No, to... your mind of seeing objects. Oh no, no, I still can't. I, I'm still blinded by my mind's eye. Okay. Sorry, did you have this since you was childhood? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so when I was in school, you've drama discovered class. it yourself. Yeah. 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 In drama uh, class. I was in drama class, and the teacher was like, "All right, lie down, pretend you're on a beach. Yeah, yeah. We we'll do some visualizing exercises. Blah blah blah." 
And I was like, I don't see anything. What are you talking about? Are you pretending to be on the beach? Like, how does this work? And so if you see me. a nice juicy girl and you sleep with her and you see her there and all that, when you walk away, she's you forgotten. close your eyes, you can't imagine her. No, she's forgotten. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Okay, that's very good. No, but you don't know who's going back oh, to your experience. It's a, sorry, it's a blessing because I am not distracted by. You can't distort things. Exactly, I'm seeing things the way they are, and in order to see things the way they are, I have to understand them logically. Okay. So this is why it's a blessing for me. So because he went on the Ricky, Japanese, put hand there. Uh, supernatural light or light went in his mind. Yes. There was no light, but when he closed eyes, the night went. Something supernatural happened, which made him think there is something supernatural there. I'm, uh, I'm there. waiting for your question. Now you have to ask a very, very wise question. La, how would you know it was supernatural? How would you know that? I just explained. It was a, no. It was a, because I know was you no said light, because there was I no know. light in the room, and all of a sudden, therefore, it's supernatural. Could have been a psychological, psychosomatic Put it in. reaction. His you know what psychosomatic? Is. Please correct your muscle. Nah, you're sure oh, enough. You, no, no, you're right. sure enough. Psychosomatic Somatic. reaction of your body and your mind. But, Look, but I it's like a lot of people suffer you, from pain. Oh, right. If I say to you, try this. Not now, but you close your eyes, stick your tongue out, and you squeeze a lemon. Imagine, imagine lemon on your tongue. And tell me if your body reacts to that. Yeah. You had the psychosomatic reaction. Uh, so like I said, when I, when I started this story, I told you. Or I can say better. It Carry is on, sir. Lots of people. Sorry, I'm just clarifying this. Lots of people. Let, let him finish, let him no, no, this is important. Yes, if you don't mind. When I started right, the story about the Reiki thing, I told you I went in as a skeptic. Everything yeah, yeah, yeah. I do is as a skeptic. I believe in God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Reiki, so you, you magical look, healing without touching you. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. biased. Energy. You're biased. If you like, believe in God and go yeah, in search of happiness, that, that was me just trying to see where this avenue would take me. Just see. And, that curiosity. Listen. Yeah, exactly. So it wasn't about me using this to anyway. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, just yeah, an yeah. experience. And, it, and see what I can learn. Lots of. Am I going to laugh at it later? No. I went to this. No, no, no. no. I don't know. I may have seen a medium. A medium might have told me my future, and I may have laughed at them going, oh, they can read my hands or something. Yeah. But in this situation, this happened, and I was like, okay, I learned from this. Sweet tea. This is for you. He who leaves his house in search of happiness pursues a shadow. Oh, 100%. Happiness is at I'm, home. I'm not looking for look at all bad. What are you looking? The truth. You keep yeah. saying truth in oh. myself to grow. I want to grow. For what purpose? To grow for what purpose? Do you remember we talked if about? If you're not growing, oh. if you're not growing, you're dying. I know. No, sir. No, you don't die if you don't. What? In what sense? Growing in what sense? Spirituality again, yeah. Actually, as a human, as. Oh. Internet, All right, what is everything? I'll challenge you now with your spirituality. Yeah, what is sorry, spirituality? Sorry, what is your spirituality? Sorry? Define. What? Define Spir spirituality? Yes. Uh, a journey towards God. No, what is this? Is that spirit, isn't it? It comes from spirit? Spirituality, what does it mean? No, I don't spirituality know. Spirituality is just. So we're in a physical body. Yes. But we've got souls. Yes. So we can have a spiritual journey through the physical, yes. the metaphysical. So when you say metaphysical, what does metaphysical mean? Above physics, yes? Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? So how can you talk about this thing? Because like I just said, this experience I have with the light. Exactly. So what does, again, I'm picking up something else apart from depression. Oh, no. no yes. Okay, so I forgot about what this. you said. <laughs> I forgot about this depression thing. So what, what yeah, you see, this? these are the signs <laughs> of... Uh, a branch of mental health. Okay. I don't mean to disrespect oh, so you. Crazy. No, 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 not crazy. A branch of it. Yeah, a branch of it. No. Who would we think is crazy? Me, me more, but. Uh, <laughs> but you. No, no, could you imagine? We get a video and we go, who, on the, who's more crazy? And they say, him. <laughs> What's the name of George. George. George is a George. Christian, I think, isn't it? No. So, what's your question you're asking? So, spirituality. Give me a specific question. Yes, spirituality. But he says above metaphysics. It's you can't talk. You, know, you, you have to, like to stop. Commune with the unknown. Look, unknown, unknown. How can you commune, communicate with unknown? 
How? It's like this. Yes. You cannot put words to the limiting words to this experience. It's like you never tasted honey. Correct. And I'm but explaining it's subjective. to you what honey tastes like. Huh? Listen. It's you have to taste it. Okay. So therefore, therefore it's subjective, yes? Maybe. Yeah. You just said you have to experience. You have to experience the revelation that yes. Prophet Muhammad and received. Right? That's how it is. So then why did he come to the public yeah. and sold it out? No, I'm talking about the Prophet Muhammad or another Prophet for that matter. Why did they go to the public? No, why did he come and make the claim? For the people that are blind. Listen. All right. I claim. What is it that you need to know that I am in contact with the God? You need to know humility. No, you, what do you need to know from me? What, what, how, how can I prove it to you? How, what proof do you need? No, sir, you see, you didn't understand. Those are your fruits, and that's where. Did you understand? I'm receiving revelation. How do I prove it to you? How do I prove to you? First of all, do you notice what his questions is asking you? He's asking you because he needs to know. I understand the idea. Yeah. Now, go on, give the question. Yeah. How do you know that I am not receiving receipt of revelation from a God? Yes? What, by what method can I prove? What do you need me to prove to you? Okay, first, what you know, do I need to first, do? First, you have to claim that you're a messenger of God. Okay. And then I'd ask you what your message was. Yes. And if your message was, have fun, go drinking, have fun. It made sense to you, yes? Is that what you're saying? No, if saying, it makes sense. I'm saying this. Remember, you were saying, the God that you believe in, you said critically when you think it, it makes sense. Yes. Yes? Based on ah. Life. Okay. Yes. In life, there's two directions. There's the path of righteousness, and then there's the path of self-worship. Well, my, my, my revelation, how would you distinguish? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. So you've got the path of righteousness and the path of self -worship. So according to your experience, then that is, that's what it amounts to. No, if you, if, yes. If what you preach... If it doesn't match with your experience, yes. Listen, I am a, as I, if I claim I'm a prophet, you have to listen to me. Yes. Even if I tell, that's that's how it is. That's what, how the Muslim believe this thing. They 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 believe in it. Allah has given it to Muhammad to tell you and me. So who are you to to say no? No, because if you just claim to be a prophet, any. So how do I prove it that that's what I'm saying to you? If you see Sunak suddenly said I'm a prophet, does that mean that I have to do everything he says? No. Yes, no. because if you believe in his God, yes. No, but that's the thing. So if you're a prophet, you have to have certain criteria. Exactly. Ah, that's it. So what is it? What are the criteria? Yeah, you have the righteousness, not the part of self-worship. If you're the part of self-worship, then you're living for your own ego, for your own will. If you're the part of righteousness, You're either helping people around or you're dragging them down. Those are the only two options in life. 